In this video, we are going to focus on simple interest. When paying back the amount borrowed from a bank or other financial institution, the borrower pays interest to the lender. Interest is calculated as a percentage of the amount borrowed. With simple interest, the percentage is calculated on the amount originally borrowed or invested and is paid at agreed times such as once a year. This is the rule for simple interest. It says PRT divided by 100. That means P times R times T divided by 100. Now we need to understand what these letters actually mean. So if we're looking at IPTR, all of these letters will be combined to calculate interest questions. So for simple interest, this is the basic rule. So I is for interest, P is for principal. Principal is the amount originally invested or borrowed. T for time in years, and the rate is the percentage. So what they're going to um, either give you if you're investing as a percentage or charge you, um, you know, if you're borrowing from a bank or a financial institution. So all these letters here will be combined in these rules, starting with simple interest first. And this is what you need to know because if you uh, read a question, you're going to need to identify these four things and then slot them in and substitute them into the rule. And we're going to do a question shortly. Let's take a look at this question. It says, find the simple interest earned on $2,500 invested at 8% per annum for three years. This little p dot a dot means per annum. It means per year. So what they're asking you to do here is find the simple interest from this amount of money invested at 8% per year for three years. Before we proceed, we must write some, the specific information down that's important for this calculation. So I for interest, P for principal, T for time, and R for rate. And now we're going to take a look at the question and figure out what each of those is valued at. So what values go into those? So the interest is what we're actually looking for. So at this point in time, we don't have anything for that. That's what we've got to find. The principal is the amount invested. So that's 2,500. The time is three years and the rate is 8%. The first thing we have to do now is write the rule. So I for interest equals, because we're asked to find the simple interest, and the rule is P R T divided by 100. Working down the page, interest equals. Now we're going to substitute these values in. So P for principal is 2,500. And we multiply that by 8, because that is the rate. And we multiply again by 3 because that is the time. And we divide by 100. So using your calculator, you would multiply the top line and then divide by 100. So 2,500 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 3 divided by 100. And that's going to give you a value of $6,000. So if you invested this amount of money for three years, at this amazing percentage rate, you would actually get this much on top. So you would make a significant amount. So again, rule, substitution, calculate to get your answer. We now have another question here. It says, find the simple interest earned on $600 invested at 5% for seven months. The first thing we have to do is write down our I equals, P equals, T equals, and R equals, interest, principal, time, and rate. We need to figure out what they actually are by looking at the question. This question's asking us to find simple interest, so we don't know what that is just yet. What's invested is the principal, that's $600. The time is seven months and it's written as a fraction as seven over 12. Because we are not dealing with years, we are dealing in a part of a year, seven months out of 12 months, and that's how you write it as a fraction. 
and the rate is 5%. So we have to start off with our rule, interest equals PRT divided by 100, that is principal times rate times time divided by 100. And our second line is our substitution. So now we substitute these letters for the values. So principal is 600 multiplied by 5, which is the rate, multiplied by the time, which is our fraction of 7 over 12, divided by 100. So when you punch that into your calculator, work across the top and then underneath. So 600 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 7, ABC fraction button 12, possibly having to put an equals after that, depending on your calculator. Then divide it by 100, and we get an answer of $17.50. So if we want to know what the total amount at the end would be, we would have to add the uh, original principal and the interest that you've earned. So let's just do that out of curiosity. So the amount, I'm going to put A equals principal plus the interest. A for amount equals 600 plus the $17.50 that was earned. That was our interest that we made. And the answer equals $617.50. Now, a worded question needs a worded answer. So depending on what they were asking, if they were asking just for the interest or for the overall amount, you would write a therefore statement, place one of the answers in, and then a full stop. So your therefore statement can be anything, as long as it includes the correct answer and is aligned with the question. So now we're going to move on to finding P, which is finding principal. So we've been looking at finding the simple interest, now we're looking at how much was invested to begin with. And our new rule is P for principal equals 100I divided by RT. And that means 100 multiplied by I, which is interest, divided by rate multiplied by time. So the first thing we have to do, like always, is go interest equals, principal equals, rate equals, and T equals for time. So interest we know. We know that we made $120 interest in this question. We don't know the principal because that's what they're trying to get us to find out. We know the rate is 5% and the time is 3 years. So now we write the rule and then we calculate from there just as we've been doing. So P equals 100 I divided by RT. P equals, now it's our substitution line, so 100 multiplied by the interest, which is 120, divided by the rate of 5, multiplied by the time. So with your calculator, you multiply the top line, which we're going to do now. So P equals 100 multiplied by 120, and we get 12 thousand and five times three is 15 and now we can calculate that 12,000 divided by 15 equals 800 so we've just figured out that we have invested $800 in order to make $120 in interest so what you can see in this one here is we've got the rule we've got our substitution and because we've got a couple of calculations to do on the top and bottom we then do them separately so this was calculated and answered, this was calculated and answered, and then it was easy to make that division. And then we get $800. Now because these two questions that we've gone through are worded questions, we do need a worded answer. So I'm going to do one for the last question here. So I therefore, three dots. I'm just write a simple statement based on this question. We can now say that $800 needs to be invested and you can write whatever you want as long as it's in alignment with this question.